Companies with an EPM Center of Excellence find that their staff spends less time accounting for the business and more time advising the business. The EPM COE reduces siloed application development and increases standardization across the performance management process. Every journey to the cloud is different and implementation strategies for cloud EPM vary. You may have a corporate mandate for a top-down implementation, or you may use a modular bottom-up strategy at the business unit level. Either way, Oracle recommends that you create your EPM COE in stages. These stages contain general guidelines that you can adapt to your organization's needs so you can start small and grow organically. Watch the overview video to learn about the EPM Center of Excellence and its key benefits. Visit the Oracle Help Center for more details on tasks related to creating and running an EPM Center of Excellence. Let's go over a sample scenario. Vision Corporation has experience with building a center of excellence, and as they embark on a cloud transformation journey, they are building an EPM COE to ensure adoption, usage of best practices, and innovation. They are planning on migrating their current system to cloud EPM. With hundreds of planning users involved, it is imperative that the Vision Corporation EPM COE team identify which of the tasks they need to complete. Some COE tasks need to be done in parallel, while other tasks can be initial or cyclical. For example, here are the tasks that a Vision Corporation COE is planning to include. Create a charter to establish the EPM COE. This is where Vision Corporation determines roles and responsibilities for each member of their EPM COE team as required by their project scope and overall vision strategy. Even after implementing and running a COE, Oracle recommends that organizations revisit these tasks to ensure that they align with their current plans. The EPM COE team drives innovation by continuously reviewing and mapping cloud EPM enhancements to the list of internal enhancement requests. Vision Corporation is working with an Oracle partner and has included them as part of the EPM COE team. One of the COE lead's responsibilities is to communicate milestones, go lives, and lessons learned to management and executives, as well to other teams. Vision Corporation COE team members coordinate with a wider network of interested colleagues. These COE ambassadors share status updates at their own team meetings and through other internal communications. Identifying the right meeting cadence and communication plan ensures that everyone is aligned on goals and making progress. The meeting cadence depends on the organization's adoption speed. Vision Corporation meets weekly to encourage user engagement and help track progress. Change will be common during the cloud adoption process. To facilitate the transition, the EPM COE is tasked with creating and promoting a change management plan. Vision Corporation's change management plan prepares the individuals in the organization for the cloud adoption initiative provides them with a supportive environment for learning, and helps them evolve with opportunities for growth while recognizing change champions. Vision Corporation's EPM COE will keep the organization updated with the transformation in people, processes, and technology by including a formalized communication plan to ensure that the organization is informed and engaged. It's important that the EPM COE measure success based on defined corporate goals and KPIs that link to these goals. One of Vision Corporation's goals is to lower the cost of ownership by reducing technical debt. By adopting Cloud EPM, they can measure their success based on productivity and a reduction in the cost of maintenance. Applying best practices and increasing automation allows them more time to focus on what matters. This also encourages increased adoption of emerging technologies such as AI and machine learning. The Cloud EPM Roadmap can efficiently guide an organization when it is ready to go live and help phase in updates over time. Here's Vision Corporation's Cloud EPM Roadmap. As a best practice, the roadmap should incorporate the company's strategic initiatives, leverage as many of the Cloud EPM platform capabilities as possible, give business priorities careful consideration, especially when a hybrid approach is the first part of your journey, maintain a constant balance between risk versus delivering on the roadmap, and enhance the use of EPM with further analytics and resources provided by EPM. As Vision Corporation plans for their cloud EPM journey, 
Their EPMCOE ensures a successful implementation based on the organization's adoption speed. Their EPMCOE will track, guide, and communicate the transformation progress and value of their cloud EPM investment across the organization. If your organization is thinking of implementing or migrating to cloud EPM, whether it's one, two, three, or all business processes, consider creating a cloud EPM center of excellence to manage your cloud transformation process. Your EPM COE will grow with your cloud EPM footprint. The more cloud EPM business processes you incorporate over time in your journey to the cloud, the more benefits you'll see in terms of standardization, reduced costs by using best practices, and improved processes. Check the links in the description for more resources and inspiration. Review the stories by Oracle at Oracle that showcase our in-house successes. Become a certified Agile Finance leader by taking the Agile Finance Transformation Certification Series, a joint training effort created by Oracle and the Association of International Certified Professional Accountants, which is designed to help finance professionals successfully transition to the cloud and drive better business results while accelerating their careers. Visit the Oracle Help Center for more details on tasks related to creating and running an EPM Center of Excellence.